Now, the president today said middle class families are going to see their incomes go up by about $3,000 thanks to his stimulus plan. Republicans do not agree with many of these points. Here now, Representative Spencer Backus, ranking member on the House Financial Services Committee, the committee rewriting the rules for Wall Street. And also, since we're lucky enough to have you here, Representative Backus, uh, I'm calling you, in a sense, the Republican rebuttal to the president's claim. He's saying the stimulus plan has worked, and many Americans are going to see uh, their incomes go up, or at least they'll be $3,000 richer due to tax cuts. Is that proof the stimulus plan worked for most Americans? Well, it's an awful lot of money, and uh, there's bound to be some, uh, uh, you know, that money traveling through the system, and it, it will create some activity. But uh, I think the uh, headache or the hangover, uh, the debt that re that results from it, uh, is going to be a serious problem for really uh, generations to come. In terms of where we go on that front. Uh, Eric Cantor was on this program recently saying we're going to have $400 billion left from the stimulus plan once 2010 begins, and we should allocate right now for that money to not be spent, essentially not add to the deficit or, or pay it down. Would you agree, or do you think that it is perhaps too early to make that call? No, absolutely. Uh, you know, anytime the government spends a dollar, they've got to get it from the private sector. They've got to tax someone. If they either tax them now or they tax them uh, in the future, and if they tax them in the future, it's going to be several dollars to replace that dollar. Uh, we're a nation that's deeply in debt, and the deficit, and, and uh, most federal agencies, the Federal Reserve, the Treasury, they've all warned that that actually is our biggest economic challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh, to spend money with the deficit we have today is, is really a foolish uh, a thing. It, it's uh, just, I think, pouring gas on the fire. One thing the president said yesterday is Wall Street cannot go back to its reckless ways. Uh, there appears to be a, a big argument. A lot of people have the feeling that not much has changed on Wall Street. And you can look at the marginal changes in compensation strategies to make that point. I know some in the administration think maybe Wall Street isn't taking enough risks. So there are two different worries here. But I want to ask you this. Have we done anything to reform Wall Street yet? Well, I think the market has, has resulted in uh, a a lot of failure and a, a lot of uh, uh, misuse of derivatives and misuse of financial products, and which has ended very badly. And I think as a result, uh, some of the same activities, they may be with the same instruments, but I don't think they're with the reckless uh, disregard and uh, the overextension of, uh, of credit and uh, over leveraging. However, you know, from, uh, from one view, I think you could say that uh, uh, not a lot has changed. I, I think you could basically argue both those points. I, I think the important thing is that can government come in, take it over, and fix mm -hmm. it? And I think that answer is no. And it, Barney Frank said yesterday there's not as much uh, contention over financial regulatory reform, the Consumer Protection Agency, clawbacks on compensation, and a systemic risk regulator appearing to be the three things that will change. Uh, you are the ranking Republican on that committee. Is this going to go through and pass? Uh, no, not, not the way it's been proposed. Uh, for one thing, uh, Chairman Frank and, and the Democrats have proposed just creating a, yet another federal agency and, and several uh, layers of bureaucracy. You know, the problem, Aaron, and we all witnessed it, was we had uh, regulatory agencies. They just didn't do their job. Or in certain cases, they actually contributed to the expansion or the overexpansion of credit and the risk taking. So, you know, before we start creating new agencies, let's make sure those that we have work. Bottom line, would you push hard, ag aggressively in committee to say we don't need any of this legislation at all? And that's not the same thing as saying you're against regulation, but it sounds like what you could be saying is let's enforce the rules in place and do that well. Would you, would you go that way and say I'm not going to support a bill? Well, no, I'm not going to support their bill. I would, you know, we need smarter regulation, not more regulation. We knew there were gaps in the regulation. There were a lot of unregulated uh, institutions. Unfortunately, the regulated institutions bought some of the subprime affiliates, and we need to close gaps in the regulation. But mm -hmm. we, we don't need the government to come in and start managing business. Uh, you know, the government just uh, is should not or cannot efficiently run businesses. And I think GM is probably the poster child there, where okay. you saw a lot of unintended consequences. You saw that with almost every government intervention. They've not, they've not worked well. And they've okay. worked only with government guarantees and taxpayer obligations. All right, Representative Backus, thank you for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Aaron. And a programming note for those of you watching tonight at 8 o'clock.